is up you guys welcome back to the channel coming at you with yet again another perfume experience and continuing with the Ansar Oud sort of a rose theme here today as per the title below I have none other than Rose SQ you guys and this here is something very very special even on its own without being blended with oud so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go over the musing for from the ansar oud website then i'll walk you through the perfume experience and we'll chat a bit more about context performance etc however before we get started and as per tradition on this channel make sure to grab your favorite bevy your favorite snack or your cafe like myself here today and continuing with the burundi coffee beans theme You get older guys and gals it's the little things like the like this cup of coffee that gets you going okay so let's get on with the musing so rose sq a vintage taifi rose auto essential oil flowers wither red roses turn brown some flowers bloom once in their life for one night. Some petals are too petals are too delicate to be distilled without being softened, while others can only be harvested once a year at sunrise. Rose is one of these, and it's what makes it among the most expensive florals. Delicate petals with a brief window in which to fully capture their fragrance at their peak before the scent begins to wither. There's a palpable difference between fresh harvests and quality extracts and delayed harvests and generic production. Some roses smell bland, overly twangy, too candy sweet. Then you've got this vintage Taifi Auto that's sublime from start to finish with this distinct lemony tinge that makes it discreetly sweet without the twang and beautiful because of how precise the harvest time must have been. Like you held the petals to your nose early that very morning. Very few people can insist in getting the best rose oil, not without committing to the entire harvest, which requires tons and tons of petals and paying the hefty price. Even generic wholesale rose extracts can differ wildly in price. The better ones costing you four, five, six times the price of lower quality ones. That's why these lemon sweet notes vary in intensity between even the best Taifi roses. Timing is key. What to do? Perfumers get in line and wait their turn. It doesn't work that way if you're the Sultan. You get to mark the date because the harvest belongs to you. That's why Rose SQ lets you smell the most exquisite Taifi Rose imaginable. It's hard to date them exactly, but both Royal Taifi and Rose SQ are likely from the 80s and both were stored, stored in the Sultan's Crystal. Royal Taifi is more effervescent than Rose SQ and the lemony note is a touch sharper. Rose SQ is more bourbon. The lemon note is smoother and overall the scent is a bit fuller. Not like an absolute, but it's a notch richer than Royal Taifi, more ethereal smell. Color-wise, Rose SQ is slightly darker, nowhere as dark as Damask Damaskinas, though, compared to the lighter yellow of Royal Taifi. Sultan Kabus had a special love for Taifi Rose and Rose SQ lets you smell why. It's a it's as a pristine a rose fragrance as you can capture with beautiful projection and when applied to clothing will linger for days. Okay, you guys. So this is the musing off of the Ansar Oud website. God, I love 
love coffee. Okay. Next, we shall move on with smelling this gorgeous rose askew. Just to show you guys, it is light yellowish at the bottom, actually almost like a lemon gumdrop color, if you guys can see it. Okay, and as per usual with these, I have to be careful because I don't want to drop them, you guys. Oh my god, this is... I don't remember if I opened this or not, to be honest, or even smelled it. Oh my god, this is a wrong. Okay. Wow. <sighs> Whoa. Yo. <laughs> this is like just smelling a fresh rose as it blooms. God, this is so good. Wow. See? <laughs> okay, uh, let's start talking about this. I, I, my bank account hates me. <laughs> wow. You definitely get that lemony note in here. And it's like a lemon gumdrop. If you ever had one of those candies, it, it smells like how a lemon gumdrop tastes. It is fantastic. Now you get the rose scent in here, like mentioned in the description without any of the jammy, overly candy, sweet, sugary sort of rose. It's just, Perfect. There's a slightly herbaceous note to this, and I'm not sure why that is. But it comes in along with that lemony note. You don't get any creaminess in here, which you tend to get quite a bit with some rose floral notes out there. This definitely has that good amount of citrus touch to it. It is heavenly, you guys. I'm just whipping it. It's very subtle, but once your nose picks on it, it is, like I said, heavenly. It is just so gorgeous. So yeah, you're getting a rose scent with a lemony note, and it's fairly subtle it's not overpowering like a lot of roses are but you most certainly are not going to get fatigue with this a lot of rose based scents or rose essential oils are too overpowering so they cause fatigue or they can trigger your allergic reaction this will not do that Yeah, so I'm gonna say for this, it's lemony, it's herbaceous, um, and you got a typical rose profile here without any of the jamminess, candiness, overly sweet, sugary vibes to this. And uh, yeah, it's straight up rose oil. <laughs> Uh, for those of you that has smell, have smelled oil, rose oil before, it's just, you know, a different take on some of the rose oils you've smelled. Now, let's talk, you know, the profile of this. A 
in terms of performance, listen, weak, okay? You're not getting much performance out of this on your skin. Um, I know in the musing when I read it said that you can smell for days. I'm gonna disagree with that. Maybe you're gonna get hints or traces off it on your clothing or your skin, but for the most part in terms of projection, trail and silage, uh, this is going to be weak compared to some of other essential oils in particular rose that I've smelt. So unless it's mixed with alcohol and in a sprayable format, I just don't see this performing um, in a very strong, powerful way, okay? It's gonna be a skin scent. It's gonna be very close to your skin. Uh, it's gonna be something that you get to enjoy for yourself, okay? Or the other um, sort of situation or circumstance or context where you can enjoy this just because of its weakness in terms of performance is intimate moments, you know, with your uh, significant other or your girlfriend or boyfriend or anything in between, <laughs> okay? So this is what you need to keep in mind in terms of performance. Now, with respect to context, like I said, probably the best context for this is you wearing it for yourself just for personal enjoyment or just wearing it during intimate moments, okay? Uh, I really do see this shining in these contexts, okay? It's not gonna be a scent you take out to public. I mean, out to the public, you can, but if you're looking to fish for compliments or to accentuate your uh, attire, it's not really for that, okay? So just something to keep in mind. With respect to when you can wear that, I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, with respect to time of day, this will do fairly well morning, afternoon, or evening. I find rose is very versatile that way, and I'm gonna say that it probably will perform differently across the day. You probably are gonna pick more on the lemony notes early in the morning and in the evening you're gonna get more of that warm rosy touch okay so that typical rose profile and it might be a bit airy uh, as you smell it in the evening so that typical florals that uh, kind of release their fragrance in the evening they tend to be a bit airy so you will get that effect with this rose in the evening too. So very versatile in that way where you can wear it morning, afternoon, and evening. In terms of seasonality, I'm leaning more towards summer and spring. This actually isn't overwhelming uh, in terms of its effect or suffocating just because it doesn't have this jammy, sugary rose effect. It's more of a fresh rose scent. And given that it's not mixed with anything like musk, uh, oud or sandalwood or you know any sort of resin, on its own is very light. So you can actually enjoy this in spring and summer. I'm gonna say that this particular rose oil is not suitable for fall or winter just because it doesn't have this oomph to it to withstand the cold. I think it's just the cold uh, weather is gonna overwhelm it and you're not gonna get much out of it, okay? Now, we've already covered performance, context, uh, seasonality, time of day, how you would wear this. Uh, I mean, honestly, again, whatever you wear during your intimate moments or not wear at all, okay? It's up to you to decide how to dress this. Uh, I, I'm gonna say this can go formal, semi-casual, casual, or nude, okay? Uh, given that the context I foresee this in mainly is intimate setting. So don't get uh, too bucked on, you know, how to dress it. You can practically just dress you know, wear your own skin and you're good to go. <laughs> All right. Uh, with respect to gender, I'm gonna say obviously rose and florals tend to be more feminine leaning. This one is more feminine leaning, but is not too feminine leaning to the point that you're, if you're a man, you can't wear it. You most certainly can wear this as a man, but you know, it is at the end of the day, a rose and I find roses 
on their own tend to be more feminine leaning. However, if you have an oud, for example, at home or a musk, and if you layer it with this rose, it definitely, you, you definitely get more of a masculine vibe and touch to it out of this. So with that said, would I recommend Rose SQ? For those of you that are rose aficionados, for those of you that appreciate old vintage rose oils, for those of you that appreciate skin scents, and for those of you that really enjoy a fragrant rose oil for its quality and vintage year over just that strong rose scent, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, this is for you. Get your nose on it, get your wallet on it, cop it, you will not regret it. And a lot of the reviews online actually about this are very favorable. Now, with respect to performance, which you need to keep in mind when you go into this, you're not gonna be getting much performance, okay? So just something to keep in mind in terms of making the decision to go for this or not. But overall, a great rose essential oil and the fact that it is from the 80s as per Ansar Oud's Museum on the website. I mean, frankly, it was stood the test of time so far. The fact that after all of these decades, it smelled this gorgeous and heavenly, it's just something that's fantastic. Okay, with that said, you guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here as per usual. Very much appreciate your time and attention. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.